Good afternoon, my dear friends, Dr. Moore. Um, before starting my speech, let me show you a couple of pictures so you will figure out what I'm talking about. So, diabetes, spinal cord injury, cancer, and Parkinson's disease. Um, you probably know a lot of people who has this disease, and you probably know uh, about the suffering and not only physical but also psychological suffering they have to live with. And the worst thing about it is that, is that there's no, there's no yet, there's no cure yet. These people have to leave, uh, just with the hope, but they know that there's no cure, uh, cure yet existing. And several countries are offering this therapy that promises these people definite cure from these diseases that you saw about. <clears throat> uh, and I want to convince you that. It's actually stem cell therapy, and I want to convince you that using stem cell therapy right now is too dangerous, and it actually can kill people. And um, I'll try to I'll try to convince you today that it's inappropriate and it should be illegal. Any of us can be susceptible to above mentioned diseases because of genetic predisposition, or because of unhealthy lifestyle, or because of racial predisposition. So we're all at risk. And since I'm a biology major, I really learned a lot of about this topic. I learned about the cell um, biology and about stem cell research. So you should trust me. And the main points that I'll include today is why is it risky and how we should stop it and how we will benefit from it. So why is it, why is it, um, what the key points? Not yet proven method, the stem cell therapy is not yet proven. It's very risky and it should be illegal. Here is actually the process itself, the stem cell therapy, how you do it. <clears throat> you actually take a cell, um, the cell, and it, the cell, this cell, what do you get? The sperm from the male, when it's uh, fertilized as the egg cell, you get the zygote, which is this. In five days, and from five to seven days, you get this blastocyst, called the blastocyst. And what scientists are interested in is this part, the inner mass, that's inner mass of the cells. Because this cell can differentiate to any kind of cell you want, from blood, muscles, and neurons, you can, um, you can uh, differentiate them, or you can change them to any tissue you want. So if there's someone sick with a spinal cord injury, or someone has uh, blood problems or blood cancer, they can, they can cure it. But this is still research on research level, and <clears throat> people from several countries are using this therapy to treat people. And the need is that we have to stop these countries from practicing stem cell therapy until it's not completely tested and approved. Because it's not yet approved. People are only um, studying this uh, stem cells, and it's still a research. And the main problems that I included, why is that a problem? I can say, why should we stop it? The first problem is that because this uh, cells cause cancer, or may cause cancer. And you see the source says that this, the cancer called teratoma, that contains a bit of teeth, bone, muscle, as well as primitive eye or hair. And this picture that you see here is teeth. And this teeth, the tumor that was grown in the stomach, actually. So this teeth were grown in the stomach. And this is called the teratoma cancer. And it's very risky, and stem cells and other uh, cancer cells both, both contain um, both contain a protein called nucleostamine. So they grow uh, rapidly, and you cannot control them. And here you can see the picture. Um, I, I can show you here. It's the brain cancer, and this is actually the first um, uh, first situation when. Uh, a, a nine years old boy got a cancer because of the stem cell treatment. And there were, there were um, a lot of experiments before that on animals, but it wasn't yet proven that it causes cancer in people. And this case was the first case. Okay, dangerous practice. Let me talk, let me talk about, um, about the second um, argument that I want to include. It's many countries are trying to use the treatment, although doctors, for example, in Russia, they do, uh, it's in, usual, in ordinary clinics, and they offer it from, uh, for example, Parkinson's disease, or um, for example, in male problems, they treat it, and they don't even need a license for doing it. In China, the, according to the Department of Health, the researchers in China are not obliged to obtain a license to carry out the embryonic stem cell work. 
And countries, the main problem, this, the, one of the main problems that I included to my speech is that these countries are trying to make a lot of money. And here you can see that, for example, in China, they make, <coughs> they, uh, they charge $20,000 for each stem cell therapy. And according to NPR, National Public Radio, already 600 foreigners have come to China and paid about $20,000 each. In the Dominican Republic, they request uh, 25,000 according to nature reports. And I know that in Russia, they request about $20,000 for each therapy. Satisfaction, what I, what I would suggest to do, what my solution? My solution is sanctioning all these governments, allowing these therapies in their countries through the United Nations Organization, uh, World Health Organization, and International Society for Stem Cell Research. What I mean by that is we will, we will stop all these researches right now. We're not going to allow them to do that right now. And since they already treated about 3,000 3, people, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze this data, and we're going to take all these 3,000 people they had before, and we're going to study them. <coughs> we're going to study them, for, for example, during like five or 10 years, and we'll see if they truly cause the cancer or not. If it doesn't, we will give a certain amount of people we will allow. If, if yes, we will, we will stop it. So, uh, the second option that I would like to do is, okay, here, stopping current therapies, analyzing existing data, and economic sanctions in case of denial. So, if these countries will deny, we will sanction them economically. For example, we're not going to buy their, we're not going to import their goods, or we will, um, stop their export somehow through the United Nations organization. And my second, second proposal is creating global standard license. Because as I said, there's no license required to do this uh, work, this kind of therapies. And I, I don't really like it. So what I would like, like to do is the creating a global license through the International Society of Stem Cell Research. So these people who want to do this therapy, they will obtain the license. Visualization, the millions of lives will be saved because if we later find out that this therapy actually causes cancer. And only the best doctors, only the best scientists will work in this field because of this licensure process. And action. Action is that I have a letter today. I brought a letter today. Uh, I want you all sign it today. It's the letter to Pan Ki-moon, the Secretary General of the United Nations Organization. I'll pass it around. So we, I want to address our concerns to the Secretary of General of the United Nations Organization so he will understand our problem and he will try to help us to solve this problem. Okay, We're, the conclusion. Uh, as oh, President Obama said, stem cell research has generated, uh, no, sorry. As President Obama said, we cannot guarantee that stem cell therapy, quote, uh, we cannot guarantee that stem cell therapy will actually succeed. And no one, no president will guarantee it. So if President Obama, Obama even recognized it, we actually have to stop it right now. And we cannot help these doctors to make millions of dollars from others' problems. This is a works out of page, and thank you.